guys. Joe DeMarco from the Crazy New York Driver Show for Friday, January 13th, 2023. Welcome to another eBay video. Today's main topic is going to be overseas sellers spamming eBay Motors with counterfeit garbage that is not only poor quality, but also mislabeled and mismarked. We'll be doing a cutaway for that in a moment. We're also going to discuss your comments, questions, and concerns. And of course, you'll notice it's still cloudy and rainy. We have not had a sunny day yet. This is the cloudiest start to any year that I can ever remember. It's just cloudy, rainy days one after the other. Let's go inside where it's a little warmer and let's get the party started. Okay guys, let's get right into your comments, questions, and concerns from my last two videos. My regular Friday video and the video that I made on Tuesday for my 24 year eBay anniversary. Rubber Wilbur said, Joe, you developed a ridiculous strong work ethic, moral compass, and knowing the value of a dollar from your meager upbringing and how your parents raised you. You and your brother are truly blessed and were given something so rare and valuable that a lot of young people will never understand or appreciate. I was too, brought up the same way, and to get my hands on five bucks was like finding a gold nugget. But after working my butt off for it, I feel sorry for people who have never experienced a hard day of work. I've worked 20 hours in a row before hard labor to pay for my rent and collapsed on my bed with my body aching and the feeling of satisfaction and joy I felt before I dove into a deep sleep was a pure bliss. There is no amount of money, vacation, food, or physical substance that can replace that feeling. And it's something you can't describe to someone unless they have fully experienced it. I know you have. Rubble Wilbur, thank you for the positive comments, and I'm glad you totally understand where I'm coming from. And you, sir, are one of my own kind. Dennis Copper wrote, Congratulations, Joe. Anyone that has been on eBay for 24 years and still has their hair deserves a cheer. Still got it. Still got all of it. Well, most of it. <laughs> Kate Cod Ken wrote, Congratulations, Joe. I've been on eBay since 1997, but only as a hobby seller until last year. Your information is indispensable as I set out to build a retirement income. Oh, and how would you like to proceed? Fluffy007 wrote, Well done on 24 years of success, Joe. I like both stories equally for differing reasons and they clearly left an impact on the person you are today. This is why it's so important that adults be sure to instill rights and wrongs to children so they can grow up in life better prepared for the world. I was told similar things many times going to the shops as a young lad why I couldn't have the many things that children are attracted to, all the fizzy drinks and the cookies and the chocolate. I was often told these things were in order for collecting customers, and they were already sold. It took me a number of years to work out that surely not all those items were sold, lol. Happy 24th, Joe. I started in 2001, but I've had a couple of accounts over the years trying different items. Superb video and a welcome surprise. Thank you, Fluffy. PRR Modeler said, Another great video, and congratulations on the 24 years. I would say you were the little boy in the grocery store. I grew up the same with you, my parents not having much. But it does make you appreciate things in life. Being from Philadelphia my whole life, scumbag sounds so normal. But we had a great mayor once, Frank Rizzo, who called a reporter a crumb bum and a lush, wanted to take him on one-on-one, -on -one, even caught it on video. If eBay does one improvement this year, it needs to be immediate payment with offers. It would be a big game changer. When I get that type of offer, it makes it more appealing to accept than going back and forth. 
I totally agree with you, PRR modeler, and I'm going to devote as much time as I can to campaigning for eBay to require immediate payment with best offers like every other e-commerce site does. Bill Still wrote, Yep, the Barnes & Noble stores near me are also going belly up. Even taking offers on their fixtures. Even a once popular yoga store here went under a couple of months ago. What happened to all the women and a few men who are always strolling in there at 8 a.m. with their yoga mats tucked under their arms? Bill, I honestly don't know. But it's like I said the other day, the days of retail are over, in my opinion. Skinny Cow wrote with a question. Joe, I've always wondered if you own that shop you work in or if you rent it. Skinny Cow, I own it. I bought it years ago because I'm just not one for paying rent. And rent, as you probably know, is very, very expensive. And whether you have a good week or a slow week, the landlord is there and he's saying, I want my money. And you better have it ready. Dennis Copper wrote, Joe, most of the fathers in the 1940s to 1960s went through the Depression and fought in World War II or Korea. My old man was one of them. He treated his family like soldiers. Boy, the stories I could tell. People would not believe me. Dennis, I would believe you. Daniel Scales wrote, I'm a veteran seller on eBay Motors. I do not have best offer option on any of my listings. This option is a total disaster. Daniel, would you feel differently if eBay finally required immediate payment on all offers? I'd like to know. Ed Bay wrote, Joe, I didn't think I was off to a rocky start this new year, but I have a return that has just turned rocky. I sold the customer a stained glass item. On January 1st, the customer indicated they wanted to return it with the return reason, don't like it. Fine, you don't like it, you're shipping it back on your dime. They properly opened the return and it was automatically approved. They did not ship the item back. Then yesterday I received this message, quote, there are three glass pieces cracked from shipping. I'd like to return this, unquote. I replied, quote, you already opened the return and there was no report of damage. You are free to return the item with the open return, unquote. If they come back with any other garbage, they're going to get crickets. There was no damage until they figured the cost to return the item. It's heavy and large and will cost $35 to $40 to return. You know what the problem is? Ed, they opened a legitimate eBay return, as you know, and you accepted it. And you did the right thing. You did nothing wrong. This is clearly a case of buyer remorse. But I think, I'm not sure, I still think they could cause trouble by still claiming an item is not as described. No, don't quote me, don't quote me, because I know I've been down this road before with people who changed their minds and I wound up getting slightly stung. I sure hope you don't get stung, but keep us abreast as to what's going on because I'm very interested. I too have had people change their minds like that for their return reason. In the video I made on Tuesday, Marjorie, the stephologist, took a guess and that she said she thought I was the kid in the supermarket with the can of mixed vegetables, that story. And I asked her why she thought that. And she replied, because that child was looking for the best value for the money and aware of how important that is. You seem to appreciate the value of a dollar. Am I right or wrong? Marjorie, you are correct, and you nailed it. I was the kid in the supermarket. The last comment I'm going to read is from Miguel Patino. I'm not even an eBay seller, 
but I still watch this guy for his stellar oratory and because he's just so entertaining. Miguel, thank you for the positive comments. Every week I come out here and I like to bring you the important eBay information, but I also like to bring it in a way that I feel you will appreciate and in a way that I feel will entertain you, which is why I sometimes yell and scream and I accentuate certain things. It's to impress upon you that I am covering important information so you won't forget it. I know I told you this story once before. I'm going to deviate off eBay really quickly for a second. When I was 14 years old in math class, our teacher was teaching us factoring. And he was teaching us something called the FOIL method. First times first, outside times outside, inside times inside, and last times last. And he got the four biggest kids, four football players, to come up to the front of the room and start singing the FOIL song. Now, while I was never a mathlete, and math was never my best subject, I guarantee you, I never forgot the FOIL method because that teacher impressed it upon us in a way that he knew would stick with us. So I try and carry the same theory over to my eBay videos, if that makes sense. And I'm sure it does. So let's get started with some new information. First thing I want to talk about is something that I really don't want to bring to you, but I'm going to bring it to you anyway. It has to do with overseas sellers spamming eBay motors. For this, I'm going to have to do a cutaway. Mm, somebody's coming in. You'll get to see this. How are you? Doing? How are you? Good, good. Uh, I called in earlier from uh, DNS Auto uh, on a 09 Crawl. Yes, I have a used one in stock. Perfect. Does that look familiar? Yep, that's it. That's the guy. Right. I told you since it's got scratches and all that, I'll give it to you for 20. That's, that's fine. Okay? You need a bill with that or are you good to go? Uh, Good, less work for me. <laughs> How's everything going? As we say in the trade, things are rolling along. Good. I'm telling you, I'm really bummed out these consistently cloudy, rainy days. You know, it, it, it's always rainy and cloudy when it's not that cold out out there, so because it ruins the day. Well, at least we don't get snow. I'll, I'll take that all day long. Oh my God! Thankfully, we haven't had any snow this year. Yeah. Is it right here? Yes, sir. Perfect. All right. All right. Thank you so You're much. You're good to go, and I'll see you next yes, time we need one. Yeah, sounds good. And uh, the, on the Subaru one, 2010 to 2014, it's the same hubcap, no, no dice. Well, I'll show you the picture of it. Yeah. Let me see what you got. I looked it up when you called on the phone. Does that look like what you want right there? Yep. See, that's the one I don't have. Gotcha. I have newer ones, but I don't have that one. I'm 99.9% .9 sure I don't have that one. No, 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 I don't. Okay. No, no sir, I don't. It's no not problem. that expensive to buy new. It's only about 50 bucks new. Okay. Yeah. Not a problem. All right. Thank you. Have a good day, man. Yeah, I'm going. Thanks. Peace. I'm going to do a cutaway now regarding overseas sellers spamming eBay motors. This problem is getting worse and worse, and I feel it needs to be addressed right now because it's like a cancer deep inside the colon. If you don't address it, it's going to be fatal. So let's go to the cutaway, then we'll come back and we'll talk about it. Guys, please pay attention to your screen while I show you four examples that I have selected at random 
of overseas sellers spamming eBay Motors. In the first example, I selected the keywords 2020 Ultima Hubcat. Now the first ones here are legit. Very good, no, no complaints. Here's where the problem starts. Take a look. Number one, all the same items, one after the other from the same seller out of Turkey. All right, but the real problem is, look what it says here, 15 inch bolt on. Anybody who knows a 2020 Ultima knows that car uses 16 inch wheels, not 15 inch. So none of these will ever fit. They are all mislabeled, meaning anybody that buys them is going to be screwed. Now, remember I said 15 inch, right? Here he says 15 inch fits a 2020 Ultima. Here he says 14 inch fits a 2020 Ultima. None of those fit a 2020 Ultima. And as you can see, he does it with every single style under the sun. The same one from Turkey, same seller. Here he is, page after page after page. Look, same guy, all the same garbage absolute mierda that the eBay buyers have to wade through to get something. It's all him. It's all the one overseas seller from Turkey. Okay. Now on the left hand navigation screen here, you can navigate and click on Nissan brand only, but let's face it guys. Most buyers don't know that, you know, that. you know, I'm telling the truth. Let's go on to example number two. Here I've selected 2018 Camry hubcaps, all right? And all this stuff here is from China. Look, these aren't Camry hubcaps. They probably won't even fit. Look, China, 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 China. All of it, every single one. That's example number two. Let's move on to another car. Here I've selected 2016 Volkswagen Jetta wheel. I figure either alloy wheel or steel wheel would come up. And look what I'm getting. Look what I'm getting. China, 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 China. You know, it's sickening. It makes me actually want to throw up blood. Let's try one more example. 2016 Volkswagen center caps. Let's see what we got here. Oh, China, United Kingdom, UK, UK, China, 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 China. Oh, God. Oh, China, China. Somebody get me some Pepto Bismol. Let's get back to the video. All right, guys. It pains me to have to make this kind of video. I don't like making this kind of video, but if drawing attention to the problem is going to help with a the fixed, then I'm glad I did it, okay? I wouldn't say it's a widespread problem, meaning there's not a ton of people doing this, but the ones that are doing it are so prolific, like I showed you, all right? It's out of hand. Now, let's discuss the problems that this spamming, this counterfeit garbage is creating. Problem number one, the buyers are getting dicked over because if they're looking for a factory part, it's very discouraging to find one. It's like finding a needle in a haystack. I think I proved that point to you. Problem number two, if you get a buyer who doesn't know anything about his car and he's driving that Nissan Ultima, all those, I'm going to say hundreds, hundreds of listings are mislabeled to fit a 2020 Ultima, and there is no 2020 Ultima on the road with 14-inch or 15-inch wheels. They don't exist. So all those buyers are going to get dicked over, right? Now, if the buyer buys it and he wants to return it, he will be on the hook to ship that $34 item back from here in the USA to Turkey. You know how much that's going to cost? A lot more than $34, my friends. In my opinion, 
It is terrible. It's worse than terrible. And it's just not that one item. I selected that one item only because the other day I happened to be looking for some 2020 Ultima hubs for my local customers here. So I was going to buy some to have them here. And all I was getting was page after page of overseas counterfeit garbage. Now, on the left side, there's a navigation bar. But come on, guys, be real. The average person doesn't know how to use it and certainly wouldn't even think about using it. And one of the other examples I show you where I was looking for a wheel, all these other items were coming up that have nothing to do with the wheel, whether it be a steel wheel or an alloy wheel. I think that the people that run eBay Motors need to get it together. I've come out here before and I've talked about it years ago and I'm going to talk about it till I'm blue in the face, all right? If it looks like a duck and smells like a duck and walks like a duck, chances are it's a duck. We need to get this China garbage off eBay, all right? Off. Or there is one other answer to this problem. Have one button that a buyer must click that says aftermarket parts. Now, right now, if you look at the left navigation bar, there is a button that says aftermarket parts. Okay? But that means nothing. Because right now, when they just type 2020 Ultima, everything is coming up. The search, in my opinion, should default to only factory items. But give the buyer a choice. If he wants to click on the cheaper aftermarket garbage, that's his right and his privilege. Let him do it. But you are losing so many customers. They're getting so upset because they're looking for original equipment and they have to wade through all this filth in order to get it. And, as I said, it's the same people doing it. The same sellers doing it. And if you really observe it, None of them have 100% feedback, okay? Their feedback is always in the dumper, and rightly so. If a person gets dejected, depressed, frustrated, shopping on eBay because he can't wade through all the garbage, he's not going to shop on eBay anymore. Don't you get that in your head? That's the problem I try and relate to the powers that be. And here's the stock answer. Oh, wow, this is, you put a lot of work into this, Joe. Thank you very much. I'm going to hand this off to the team that handles it. Now, let me show you where that team is located. See this? Look, the team that handles it is now in possession of my ideas. Guys, I consider myself an expert on eBay Motors. I know cars and I know eBay. So it's the perfect marriage for me. So that's why I get so upset and bent out of shape when I run across this kind of thing. Myself and many other eBay sellers sell quality factory original equipment motors parts. I'm not sure if this kind of abuse occurs in any other eBay categories, but if any of you guys sell in a different category and encounter this kind of thing, Let's talk about it. Tell me about what you see, what you're experiencing, and do you have any ideas as to how this can be handled and what can be done about it? For instance, as you know, on every item they have the report this item link. Don't bother. It's like Dennis Copper says. 
You click it, it goes to a, a bare wire that's not connected to anything. All those listings that I showed you earlier about the Nissan Ultima hubs, where the guy claims it fits a 2020 Ultima and it never will, the potential for so many people getting burned is astronomical. And once they get burned and they try and send it, send it back to the seller over in Turkey, you know how much that costs. They're not going to come back and buy any more on eBay. All right? And it's going to hurt you. And it's going to hurt me. And that's not acceptable. Guys, I'm Crazy New York Driver, and you're not. Thank you for watching this week's video. Every Friday night, I come out and I make these videos to help you try to stay successful as an eBay seller. If you think I'm doing a good job, please leave me a thumbs up that tells me I'm on point and appreciate it. If you don't think I did a good job, tell me in the comments section what you want me to hit up, and I'll try and do that next week. Guys, I am fervent in my belief that eBay is still the best place to buy and sell your items. The, the, the amount of money you can make is almost without limits, but it upsets me greatly when I see abuse, like I showed you earlier, that hurts eBay sellers and eBay buyers as well, especially eBay buyers. It's just plain sick, and it's got to stop. And I'm hoping that the powers that be at eBay move on this. These overseas sellers selling fake reproduction items, and it's not just in motors, all right? I'm an expert in motors, but I know, like, with Gucci handbags and things like that, and Rolex watches. There's some of that stuff going on too. And I know some of you guys probably sell that stuff. So talk, 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 and comment. I want to hear about that. All right? I'm a little bit, I'm a little, I'm getting in one of my moods now. I feel it. All right? You know how I can get sometimes. I'm not unreasonable. But when I see some abuse going on like this, I start to get a little bit, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So guys, that's basically all I have to say today. I hope you found this video enlightening, informative. And please comment, talk to us, tell us your feelings. And I can almost guarantee you that when I make my next video, it's going to be cloudy. Thanks for watching. Rock on and peace. And please, please, please tell me. How do you want to proceed?